Hey guys, welcome to the video. It is Simon the Watch Guy. Yes, this watch, I did say it won't make a return. I'm not going to talk too much about the, the watch itself and just more about this Polly watch. Now, this was recommended by a viewer of the channel. I have heard of this stuff before. I've never personally used it, but hey, now I'm about to. The crystal that was replaced... The, the, the new acrylic crystal that was put on by the watchmaker. You would not believe this, but there is a very, very, very small uh, scratch. And it is a scratch, it's not a chip. So I don't even think you can see it. I really don't think you can see it on this particular video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a very, very soft cloth. Uh, really, it does recommend cotton wool, but I don't have any cotton wool with me. So, next best thing is I'm just going to put a really quick bit of, um, of this stuff on the cloth. Now, I will tell you, after I've done this, uh, I will tell you if this has worked. So, I've actually spotted maybe one or two other... So I'm just going to rub this all over. And uh, I, I know you guys couldn't see the scratch before this, but I'm just rubbing on this with a bit of pressure. I'm just going to pause the video and I'll come back in just a minute and let you know if this has made any difference. Okay, so a couple of minutes later and it looks as if it's virtually... Uh, virtually f resolved although it does look upon when you hold it in a very very specific way and light hits this a very certain way it does look as if there's actually maybe one or two tiny little fibers under the screen uh, under the actual acrylic crystal so I think in 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 short what we've learned from this is it looks like poly watch does work but it just comes back down to you really, really, really have to have a top-notch watchmaker. Because, let's be completely honest, the guy's made a real pig's ear of this job. A real... He's really messed this up big time. Um, he's cracked the replacement crystal. He's put on a crystal which had a scratch on the face, which seems to have been fixed with Polywatch. But I've now noticed maybe one or two fibres underneath the screen. Um, I guess what I'm going to do now just on this video is this was the original crystal. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there was just a couple of uh, chips in the glass. I don't necessarily think you can see on this, on this video. But I'm going to now attempt what I should have done in the first place, really, and use Polywatch on this, and I'll tell you guys if this actually fixes the original acrylic crystal. So bear with me, and uh, I will be back to let you know if this works. Okay, so I'm back after a good while uh, with this one. I did apply two coatings, and uh, it, it, it somewhat helped a very, very small bit. I know you can't see, the, you, it, you just can't really see them on, on the uh, camera, but it didn't really fix this crystal, so... It, in that sense, I'm a bit relieved because this poly watch would not have fixed this issue. I did spend quite a good some time. Uh, I give this two coatings, let it dry, come back, did it again. But no, it just um, the three chips in this crystal they can still be seen. So unfortunately, poly watch did not work on this particular crystal. Poly watch has worked on this crystal. Um, so. My experience with Polywatch so far is that if you've got a really, really, really tiny scratch that's not very deep, Polywatch may fix it. But yeah, I like I say, I have actually noticed some little fibres around the inside of the crystal. So I think, to be honest, I'm going to... And I'm not the kind of guy to do this, but I'm going to have to leave a review about this watchmaker because you know this is a young hands and this is actually this was still a relatively somewhat expensive young hands 
if this was, you know, a Rolex, a Cartier Omega, can you imagine? It, it just doesn't bear thinking about, you know. I'm really, dis really disappointed. I can't begin to tell you how upset, how angry, how disappointed I am in the watchmaker. Just for sheer lack of attention, lack of care. I mean, he didn't even mention to me that crystal that I've just dropped there. He didn't mention that he'd even crack that crystal. I think I just think it's awful. You know, I, I cost me it cost me quite a lot of money to, to source that crystal, really, in the scheme of things. So, I do believe that the young hands will get. Um, it's going to be sold. The only thing I would say about young hands, just for anybody interested in, in purchasing one, just just. Just do be aware. I, I I know I said I won't do a video about young guns. This is this is about Polywatch. But just do be a little bit aware that if you do buy one, they seem to have a proprietary proprietary acrylic crystal with that specific dome. So it really is just something to bear in mind. You could very easily find you're in the same situation as myself if you purchase something like this. And, and maybe that's a question for, for people on the video. Have you ever purchased a watch that does have something proprietary, that does mean that if it breaks, you're going to struggle to replace it? I'm now looking at the G-Shock, and I, a question I'm asking myself is, just hypothetically, if this LCD screen, this this crystal, not not the LCD itself, but if the actual crystal itself broken, if it if it, if it was smashed somehow, I wonder how easy that would be to replace. It's got me thinking now, guys. This this is a this is a really interesting one, and I'm still waiting for this. I'm still waiting for this to be sold. Uh, this citizen here, but this has got a sapphire, and again, it just makes you appreciate sapphire even more again the tank sapphire anything that isn't sapphire it, it it's starting to really scare me quite a lot because the dependability the reliability trying to source different glasses it really is not fun let me tell you okay so let me finish the video by saying polywatch in my personal experience in the last half hour i've spent it works with a small scratch, I could not get this to remove the chips in my other glass. Now, when I say glass, ac acrylic uh, crystal, it's not not glass. But um, yeah, maybe your mileage will vary, I'm not sure. But just don't expect miracles. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I hope this has been somewhat useful uh, and maybe more informative on Polywatch. do apologize for bringing this one back, but it seemed like the perfect watch to use with this Polywatch stuff. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Take care. See you in the next one.